What's up, you guys? I'm back. I hope you've been keeping it safe. I hope you've been playing it safe. I hope you've been staying encouraged. I hope you've been doing what you need to do. I hope you've been doing some self-care and taking care of yourself. Let's do first things first. And I am M. Williams. And this is Sugar Salon TV. Thank you for tuning in. First thing we're going to do is press... We're going to smash that subscribe button. And if you could go ahead and subscribe to me, oh my God, what a blessing you'll be. And I'm hoping that I'm being a blessing to you as well. So go ahead and subscribe. I appreciate it. And let's get started with this brief video. Brief. So I'm going to call this one, Stop Apologizing. Stop apologizing. Just stop it. Don't do it. Stop apologizing. So what do I mean by that? What I mean by that is I got this spiritual revelation. And I know it was from God. <laughs> Not trying to sound spiritually deep. Just being honest. A spiritual revelation. And God just told me, stop apologizing. Just stop. Just stop it. So basically what God was telling me, and I'm going to share with you, and I mentioned it briefly in one of my other videos. I'm going to put it up there. You can view that one too. But basically God was telling me, just stop apologizing. Stop apologizing. <laughs> I know that sounds funny for God to say that, but basically what he was saying to me was stop apologizing to people who you have no reason to apologize to them. No reason at all. And the reason he was telling me that is because I was apologizing to people who I have not done anything wrong to. Nothing at all. So God says, stop apologizing. So if you're listening right now, you know how we do. We always apologizing to people. You know, sometimes people can do you wrong. They can do bad by you. They can, you know, not take ownership for their behavior. And to me, it just seems like a lot of that is going on now where people just are not healed or people are bitter about something that happened in their life. And I promise you, it has nothing to do with you. But because they are unhealed from it and they have not yielded their, themselves to being healed or have not taken action um, towards their healing, whether it be spiritual counseling, whether it be seeing a psychiatrist or a psychologist, whether it be, you know, at the church or whatever, you know, counseling at church, whatever form of healing or whatever form of counseling that they can take and have and participate in in order to heal and get delivered from whatever it is, when people are not healed, they just tend to look for reasons to be upset, to project onto you, onto you, or onto you. So we live in this world where we all have to interact with one another. We have to talk to one another. We have to engage with one another. I'm in the hair industry, so I'm always around people. And God told me, look, just stop apologizing. Just stop it. Because I had the potential of and the habit of apologizing to people that I have. I don't even owe them apology. I have done nothing wrong to them, but I would apologize to them. And when God told me this, it just really, really struck my spirit. And I was really taken aback by it. Because I truly, honestly, honestly, I love people. I've always loved people since I was very young. But 
there can be so many people out here, and I'm not saying I'm perfect at all by any means. Not saying that at all. But there can be so many people in your life who are not healed. You can come across coworkers, friends, family members. It can be any human being, male or female. And they're just not healed. They're just not. Because of one, you know, one reason you can be unhealed because first of all, you're not taking responsibility and accountability for your actions or, or for the fact that you need the healing or you're not being honest with yourself. So everyone that you come in contact with, they basically have to be a, part, a, part, a partaker of it pretty much, a partaker. So, you know how people can be having this going on, that going on, or not healed from this, or bitter about that. And then they see you over there looking all bubbly, all happy, looking like you got it all together. And don't, they don't even know behind the scenes you're healing too. But they don't care because they're focused on themselves. So God told me, just stop apologizing. Because if you have not wronged anybody, they have actually wronged you. And then they've wronged you, but they're not being accountable. They're not apologizing. You know, it's almost childlike. Because nowadays you can see adults almost kind of um, go back into like a childlike state. And when I say childlike, I'm just saying, you know, just the behaviors some of the behaviors it reminds you of when you was back in elementary school or back in middle school but just some of the behaviors that pretty much take you back um that you and it could be someone who you feel like you're cool with or you feel like this is somebody that god has in your life for a reason or it could be a family member it could be any person male or female we're not gonna be caught up on who it is Cause it could be anybody, a plethora of people, anybody. It can be anyone who uh, don't want, who doesn't want to take ownership for their behavior, their actions, or feel for the mere fact that they need to be healed. If anybody has gone through any type of trauma, then you're gonna need to heal. I mean, you can't just go through trauma. Like, you can't even fall and just skin your knee and not look down at your knee and see that something traumatic has happened to your knee. So, your knee has to heal. So, during that process of your knee needing to be healed, you need to put hydrogen peroxide on it. You need to put, um, high, you know, whatever you choose to use on it. And then a Band-Aid on it, you need to take great care to it, but you don't need to be in denial that you fell and you got a big strawberry on your knee. If you act like, you know, it doesn't exist and you don't, don't do anything to help heal it, then it can get infected and everything else and it can just, you know, take on a whole new world, a whole new thing. It's the same with us and our spirits and our lives, our attitude, our behavior, our outlook on life, how we project onto others, how we come across all of that. Like it's, you can interact with people day by day on a day to day basis and you can see, not that you're judging anybody, but you can see sometimes the hurt and pain in people and you can see how people need healing. But as soon as something minor happens, and it's almost like they're bringing a gun to a fist fight. Not literally, but they it could be something very minuscule and they'll just blow it out of shape. It could be something very small and they will magnify it. Like my old people say, or back in the day when I was young, I heard it's almost like um, what did they say? Turning a, a mole into a, a ant mound or something like that. Just turning something minuscule into something huge. 
I mean, and you're looking at them like, what? What did I do? Like, what just happened? And then they'll go months. You won't hear from them for months. Because a lot of times when people are not healed and when people are hurting, they want you to hurt too. Like, people want you to hurt too. They want you to feel the pain or go through some type of pain. You over there looking all honky-dory. You over there looking all... Um, Happy go lucky, you over there looking like you got it going on, you looking like you ain't got a care in the world. And they're over there just feeling so bitter and so torn and just not happy. You know, it could be a number of reasons. It could be a plethora of reasons. But nine times out of ten, it has nothing to do with you. And then people will basically sit there and blame you. They will blame you. And if they're not happy and they feel like you got too many happy endorphins going on, they're going to try to do something to bring you down. They will try. Whether it's either push the mute button where they will just, you just won't hear from them. And that's that passive-aggressive behavior where, you know, they don't want to say anything because really what they going to say? You ain't done nothing to them at all. So really, what are they going to say? So they have this passive-aggressive behavior where they just pump their brakes. You don't hear from them. You don't see them. I mean, an abrupt halt. And next thing you know, you look back three, four, five months gone by and you're thinking, where this person at? And then you're trying to go back and regroup, revisit in your mind what happened or, or what may have happened. And then once you look back on that, you like, ain't nothing happened. I ain't did nothing to this person. Excuse me, you guys. So God told me, do not apologize. Do not apologize pump the brakes do not apologize that's what god said to me i'm sharing it with you because i have the potential to apologize to people because my love for people but as i get older i'm learning more about myself and you can project all this love and pour so much love out on people. But when people have been through a lot and they are not healed, it's going to be like you pouring water into a cup with a hole in it. You pouring all this love into this empty, empty, empty cup. Because when people have not healed, can they really receive love? If they've been hurt in a marriage through a divorce or if they've been hurt from a parent or if they've been hurt from an a ex-boyfriend or hurt at, at their job where they used to work or hurt by a friend, you know, all of this hurt, hurt, hurt. If people have been hurt in some kind of way, then they're still like replaying and reliving that hurt and that pain and whatever caused the hurt or trauma or whatever they've been through. They're replaying it in their mind over and over. And so when you come along and you showing some genuine love, now they don't even trust you. They think something up with you too because they have this PTSD and they, they just feel like Nobody can love me. I don't trust her because the other one, my other friend, you know, wasn't trustworthy or my other hairstylist wasn't trustworthy or my other husband wasn't trustworthy. And they base their whole life and the success or failure of whatever the situation is, they base it on what happened to them in the past. And so when people are doing that, they don't even realize that they're harboring so much pain and that, I mean, it's going to be very present. It's going to be ever present. 
Like every decision they make, every behavior they have, all their interactions or the the way that they handle something from somebody who who they feel hurt them or but the person haven't even really done anything but because of all this pain and hurt or rejection trauma whatever it may be they haven't healed from it so it makes them bitter and it makes them a product of their environment where they just continue on in that behavior and they don't even realize they're doing it and then they'll just go days and days months and months you know and you're over here like, what's wrong with them? Because you haven't done a thing. And so that is the reason why God told me to stop apologizing. Because at the same time, when you're apologizing to people who owe you an apology, then you're not allowing God to do what he needs to do in your life. And then that person can never heal or know that they need to be healed, or know that they're doing something wrong by you, or know that they're operating in a wrong behavior, if every time they do something wrong or mean or they're responding in bitterness or anything, they taking out some past bitterness and past trauma or whatever they're dealing with that, that you know nothing of, they've taken it out on you. And so they're never going to be able to get the full revelation of what they're doing if you are always apologizing to them when you have done nothing wrong at all. So God told me, stop apologizing. Because I would be the one to apologize to somebody and have not done anything wrong to them. So that makes zero sense at all. So as I get older and as I evolve in life, as I am continuing to do, and I'm so proud of myself and so grateful to God, those are the type of relationships that go nowhere fast. Because if, if a person is not willing to humble themselves and be accountable and be a mature adult, and be responsible for their behavior, then they are never going to apologize to you or admit and recognize when they have done anything wrong by you because they just going to push back. They're going to disappear. They're going to go into the spotlight. And what they're really trying to do, they're really trying to manipulate you. They're really trying to get a response out of you. They're really trying to be manipulative and controlling because they know in the past when they do that same stuff with other people, it works. It works. Because what happens when they do that and they push away from you and they go into hibernation and go into hiding and they all in their feelings and stuff and you trying to figure out what happened, what I do, da-da-da. And you haven't done anything, I promise you. But they want to make you feel like you have done something. So that's where the manipulation comes in. They want to manipulate you and make you feel like you have done something wrong by them, but you know in your heart you have not. And God has told you in your heart you have not. But they want to manipulate you and make you feel like you have done something wrong by them. So then what you'll do, you'll be wondering, like, what did I do? And so you'll call them or you'll text them and you'll be like, girl, guy, whether it's a girl, male or female. Oh, I'm so sorry. What did I do? I ain't heard from you, da, da, da. So they, they do that to manipulate into you, to manipulate you, to cause a reaction out of you. It's just, it's. It's manipulation, plain and simple. Manipulation, plain and simple. And so you'll call or you'll text and be like, girl, what I do? Guy, what I do? I ain't heard from you, da, da, da. They do that to get you to call or text to get a response out of you. 
It's called manipulation. Plain and simple. So you calling, you apologizing and all that. But really, they owe you an apology because you have not done anything wrong. You've been a great friend. You've been a great whatever you are in their life. And they are being manipulative towards you because they have unhealed issues that they have not healed from. And see you over here being happy, jovial, laughing, joking, looking like you blessed coming in, blessed going out, blessed in the city, blessed in the field. And they over here harboring some pain, some hurt that you're probably the one that can help them get healed from them. But instead of that, you end up being the one who they try to manipulate and control. And it's a form of manipulation. And I'm telling you today on this video, stop, do not apologize to them. Because when we don't, when we apologize, we're not allowing this person to heal. They cannot heal and cannot see the error of their ways if we're always running to their rescue and trying to bail them out of this ill behavior that they have, this um, immature behavior that they're operating in. And if they needed help or needed support or needed love or, or needed your advice or needed your, you know, whatever they needed from you, they could come to you and they can ask. But no, they're not going to do that. They, In turn, they rather go into hibernation and act like you've done something wrong to them and sit over here and nurse a blanket or a pillow or Kleenex, you know, and act very immature and like they're the only ones that have something going on. Like maybe they're the only ones that went through a divorce before or went through a bad relationship before or they're the only ones that had an unhappy marriage before, or got laid off from a job before, or whatever the case may be. But the day and times that we're in, I'm ready to turn back to the day and times when I was young, where we supported each other, where we wasn't looking for reasons to hate each other, where we can hear something bad about you and we wouldn't believe it. We would go by how you treat me and vice versa. We wouldn't go by what we heard from somebody about you. That makes no sense at all. Like, why am I going to go by what I heard about you? <laughs> it makes no sense to me. But, you know, a lot of times people will hear things and they'll take on things. And then they end up treating somebody a certain type of way based on what they heard from somebody else. When the other person who's telling them something bad about somebody, they could be the unhealed person. The bitter person, the envious person, the jealous person. So we just can't take on all of this negative energy. We have to treat people the way we want to be treated. We have to follow that golden rule, doing to others as we would have others do unto us. I think I learned that in the third grade in Bible class, Sunday school or whatever, as a child. That's how we treat one another, the way we want to be treated. We don't, I don't treat you based on what I heard from somebody else. that will, To me, in my brain, that makes no sense. So we have to learn how to uh, let people be held accountable for their behavior. And so when God told me stop apologizing, that's what I stopped doing. Now, if I wrong anybody, if I wrong any person, whether it be male, female, customer, family member, or whoever, whomever it may be, I'm going to apologize. Or I'm going to delve into it and try to find out. Because some people are just, um, you know, they have these behaviors where they self-sabotage themselves. And some people are very passive-aggressive where they won't say anything, but they have in their head all this stuff in their head. And they'll tell other people about it. You know, they'll tell other people, oh, she made me so mad, da, da, da. But you'll be the last to know. Like, they won't tell you. They mad at you, but they won't tell you. They'll be telling everybody else. So this is the times that we are living in. So we're going around apologizing to people. 
And when you apologize to someone who you have not wronged, what ends up happening is you have stepped in the way of God's plan because God is probably planning to move that person out of your life because their season is up. Their season in your life is over. And so when you go and call them or you, you apologize to them, and what are you apologizing for? You haven't done anything wrong to them. So when you apologize to them, what happens is God can't even move them now because you don't apologize. And now they're going to be in your life five more years with that same stuff. <laughs> with the same stuff. Because you got it all in the way of the Holy Spirit and he can't even do what he's trying to do. Because you done got all in the way. You done called a person and apologized. And for what? For what? This person is over here nursing all this bitterness and all of this stuff. They're over there nursing that because God is trying, God is allowing them to take a spiritual test that they're going to have to pass on their own. But you interrupting the test because you talking about, I'm sorry. For what? What you sorry for? Do y'all get what I'm saying? You got to get it. And I'm passionate about it. Because that's what I used to do. I used to apologize. I ain't done nothing wrong to keep people in my life. God said, nope. Mm -mm. This is 2022. And it's time out for that foolery, trickery. And whatever else you want to call it. These be grown women. I'm talking about grown women. Now we. <laughs> when you know better. You're supposed to do better. But I'm just saying. Stop. Just stop. Apologize and don't do it. Now, if you owe somebody, apologize. If you owe them an apology, I meant, please, by all means, please apologize. But if you do not owe them an apology, please let God do what he do. Let God do that perfect work in them. Let them be held accountable for their behavior. Because going, them going around hurting you when you have not done anything wrong to them and they trying to manipulate you, that's ridiculous. Don't allow that. Pull back. You push back. You push all the way back. And don't allow that. You deserve better than that. You deserve better friendships, better interactions, better communication, better engagement. You know, when you start loving yourself, then it's some stuff that you just won't allow and you won't accept. Because you got to come to the realization that it has nothing to do with you. There's somebody over here who needs to be healed. And they have not yielded to God and allowed God to heal them. Because them being mean to you and you haven't done anything to them, that's not godly. It's not godly for them to do that. Now, it would be godly if they call you and be like, Girl, I'm so sorry. I know you ain't seen me and heard or heard from me in a minute. And uh, I know you're wondering where I'm being, you know. That's being godly. That's being an adult. That's being mature. That's being a great woman of God. That's, being, that's handling your business. But going around, you know, projecting onto other people because you're not happy or you're bitter or you're not happy at home or whatever the situation is. I'm not trying to judge anybody. I'm just telling you. Stop apologizing. Stop it. Don't do it. Because the same person you're apologizing to is probably the same person who God is trying to move. Let him move them. Because once he moves them, then he not he has new people in, to come in your life. People who will care for you, love you, support you, be there for you. And who won't treat you like that? Like, what have you done to deserve that? Nothing. That's some healing that they need and so you need to just let them go on with their healing you know you just you just fall to the wayside and you give them some space and let them go ahead and heal don't chase nobody down 
let people heal because there's a lot of healing out here that need to be taking place. And I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm just telling you what God is telling me. I'm going to share on my vlogs because I know how us women are. And I'm trying to help people heal. And I don't want people going out here being mistreated because people don't want to be an adult and want to admit that they need to be healed and go ahead and yield to God and let him go ahead and heal them. They need to stop blaming you. It ain't none of your fault. So that's this message real brief in like 30 minutes. Stop apologizing. Once again, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Please comment, like, and share. The more activity you do on my channel, the more it helps my algorithms go up. And I want to continue to get more subscribers on here so that I can continue to put encouraging information out here for us. Whether you male or female, to be encouraged. Because this life out here is more and more stuff out here going on every day. And we all need encouragement. And sometimes we don't get encouragement from the people we think we should. So sometimes God will use other avenues to encourage you. So I hope this has encouraged you. If it has and you like my channel and what I'm doing on my channel, please subscribe. Because I love when you watch my videos. But subscribing really helps me take my channel to the next level and every milestone that I make that's that's more support from YouTube every milestone I broke through with the 100 sub subscribers now I'm trying to break through to get to the 200 subscribers and every milestone I hit on my channel that helps YouTube to b support me even more so I'm serious about trying to get this content out here and try to encourage other people um, my husband and I, we're getting ready to go out of town for the 4th of July. I'm going to be doing a lot of vlogging and some lives and all that. So please get on my Instagram live. I may do my first streaming live on here on YouTube. But thank you again for your support. God bless you. You be safe. You be encouraged. And stop apologizing. <laughs> Don't do it unless you owe somebody an apology. If you don't, don't do it. Let God work on their healing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be safe. I'll see you soon.